Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at Color Match in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. All right, let's get some things straight. This is color match, not shot matching. Big difference here. It's matching the overall color. Sometimes you're gonna get right on, sometimes it'll get close. The most important thing though is your expe expectations when it comes to different cameras. You're not going to take a GoPro and make it look like an Alexa or an Red just because Adobe has this color matching feature. There's way too much color science that is different between those cameras to make them exact. This will help you get pretty close and sometimes really close. Let's have a look. I've got two shots here and I've got both of them on the timeline. And I'm going to go to my color workspace. This is the Lumetri color workspace. And down in the color wheels, you'll notice it says color wheels and match. And when we open that up, there's a new button here for comparison view, which I showed you in a previous tutorial, and then an apply match button. So if I click on this, it's going to open this up and the scopes on the left-hand side. On the left hand side, this is the reference frame and you can scrub along here to find that frame or you can move along here to set this frame. If I hit play, the frame on the right will change as I play. The frame on the left is static. You also have the option of choosing face detection. Now face detection is doing just that. It's trying to find a face. It's putting the priority of color matching to the skin tones in the face, less on the background. So if you don't have faces or you don't care about the faces as much, turn that off. It's much faster when you don't have face detection on. As a rule, I just try it with and without, with and without, and see what happens. So I'm gonna leave it on and I'll click apply match and you'll see a very pleasing match. New in the color Lumetri color panel is this effects on and off button, so you can toggle that on and off. There is a keyboard shortcut you, you can set. It's not set by default. There's also a complete reset down here, but what, what's important is what happened to the color wheels. So this is the shadow chroma, the mid-tone chroma and the highlight chroma, and this is the luminosity for shadows, mid-tone and highlight. You can see very clearly the changes that have been made. Because these are blue, these have changed. They've been moved down to match the image on the left. That's important. SpeedGrade had a shot matching feature, but it created what a lot of people call a black box, which means it matched the color, but it stuck it in an uneditable, container, meaning you could turn it on or turn it off. You couldn't tweak it. You had to add more color grading on top of this. The Adobe engineers thought it would be much better to give you the controls that are already there in the Lumetri color panel to tweak this. So you can go and tweak this if it's um, way off or if it just needs a little tweak. The one thing you need to remember though is once we've applied color match, then this is just a bunch of settings in the Lumetri color panel. Later on, if you come over here and click something or change something, that color match is gone. So that's the trade-off. It's completely editable, but it's unprotected. Now you could save this as a lookup table or as a, a, a look and drop it back in, but let's go and, and just have a look at if we wanted to tweak this. So if I wanted to raise the shadows up a little bit, I could do that with the understanding that everything else in the color match set stayed the same. And you're not limited just to stick in the wheels. You could go all the way to the basic correction here and change the overall exposure on top of this. There are really no rules in here. I, I think it's, it's smart to do it that way. Um, we can turn the overall saturation down in addition to whatever settings we had. Um, you could even go as far as to add a vignette to this now, and it looks completely different from the left. So there are no restrictions. You got the color match, and then you've got um, ways to tweak it. Let's go look at um, a few more examples. I've got a horse, and I want it to match that previous shot there. So you notice in the distance, we've got more of a uh, turquoise mountains in here. They're nice and brown. So just like before, I'm in my, I'm in my 
a comparison view, I'll go to color match and apply color match. And you'll see that change there. I'll turn that on and turn that off. It's subtle, but I think it's right on track. If you wanted to, as I showed you in the comparison view, you could look at this as a vertical split and see how this lines up. You could look at this as a horizontal split and see how it lines up. Or go back to that side-by-side -side shot. Let's go to this shot. And let's match this from the second shot here that has a lot of difference. And I mean, this is an incredibly processed shot. And over here, we've got this very warm, natural looking going on. So let's apply the match with face detection on. Wow, wow, that is tremendous. I think that looks great. That's a really good look on that, that we pulled from a completely different shot. So you could use this to actually match your Adobe stock to what you're shooting already. By the way, all the videos that you're seeing in this tutorial were supplied by Adobe Stock, the premium supplier of stock images, video, motion graphics, templates, illustrations, and 3D objects. Find your perfect asset for your next creative project. I'm gonna leave you with another technique that, that to me is a heck of a lot of fun. Well, if I can match two of these shots, what if I tried to match one of my shots against a shot from my favorite movie. Let's go have a look. So I have a whole bunch of stills here of films that I love, and we'll go back and forth between these. So let's go all the way to the beginning. And here's 300. So I'm gonna leave face detection on for this and apply the color match. Oh. There it is. I don't think it's exactly the same. Let's turn off color de face detection and look at this. You can see it's getting a little bit of, of the oranges, but it's too much of a change over here on the left. So let's try African Queen. And you can see we've got some of the deep, deep colors going on uh, that we brought in over there. Let's keep going. Blade Runner. Yep. At this point, I would probably not bring the highlights down that much, but now I've got this very dark kind of look. Brazil. Well, that looks good. Chinatown. and we're matching more of the skin tones there. Now black and white, if I match on this, black and white does not turn this to a black and white, doesn't re remove it and turn it to grayscale. I could at this point just move the saturation down, but don't be surprised when it, it it's trying to match the color, but it's not going to desaturate that. If I wanted to, I could go to my basic color correction and turn the saturation all the way down. I'm gonna reset that because that won't be reset when I do a match again. So let's keep going. Fifth element. Multipass, let's apply that. You can see we get a lot of the oranges showing up in there. Godfather. All right. Moonrise Kingdom, some Wes Anderson. And again, there's, there's a lot of highlights in this shot on the right, and there's not a lot on the left. It's a very dark scene on the left-hand side. No country for old men. We're getting, again, some of the, the skin tones. Let's try that one without face detection and see what that does. There we go. I mean, that's a huge change. North by Northwest. Oh, brother, where art thou? And we can get some of the shrubbery looking that way. 
Again, grayscale won't work. Raising Arizona. Saving Private Ryan. There we go. That brightened up the, the greens in the back with all the greens in the, the searchers. Sweeney Todd. And Wizard of Oz. All right, so there you go. There's color match. Sometimes it's gonna be right on. Sometimes you're gonna to have to tweak it and it's a starting place. It's not gonna make your GoPro footage look like a red. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us some more through PayPal. You can do that as a one-time donation or a monthly donation right directly in the description of this video or in the uh, front page of this channel. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.